Morning. That was a bit of a wild night. Thunderstorms came in the night. Not whilst I was there uh, riding. So after a very wild night, we are back on the go. We're on our way to Beachy Head into Eastbourne. I'm going to cycle all the way along the coast to Hastings. And then I'm going to make my way back through High Weald, which apparently is an area of outstanding natural beauty, all the way to finish somewhere between Crowborough and Tunbridge Wells. Um, and that's where we're camping tonight. It's about 100 miles. There's only four official climbs today, but there are quite a few lumps through the High Weald. So it could be interesting. Yeah, feeling okay. My left Achilles is a little bit sore. Hopefully that will just ease in as we're pedaling. But we're gonna go beachy head now, then find some breakfast in Eastbourne, and then enjoy the coast for a bit. Hey, I try my best to talk to you. Tell you about the things I like to do. I know your smile is lighting up the room, up the room. Do you always look this beautiful? Can I kiss you when the night is through? Because right now it's all I want to do, want to do. Your lipstick left a mark on my cheek, so I keep thinking of you. It's bonkers to think I've cycled here all the way from Glastonbury. That's amazing. Berlin Gap, that is. Off to beat your head now. This is not an official club, this is the best one of the week. <laughs> first of the official climbs today I can't even remember what it's called Town Hall Road or something like that but it's 12% wiggling up back to where I've just come from <laughs> let's do it don't do mornings but if they did they do this one that was hollywell zigzags um i don't know what what i called it but it wasn't it, it was hollywell zigzags some spectacular views at the top now i've got butts lane this i think is the worst one today i think it's an average of 12 percent just some random residential road in eastbourne by the look of it but then i got 30 or 40 flat kilometers to hastings i, I don't even know where i am anymore <laughs> flat for 30 kilometers Anyway, let's crack on and get this done. I'm gonna to need to find some sunglasses somewhere. Well, the clouds cover the sun. I am squinting a lot. Missing me glasses today.
found Butstein particularly hard. It was nice to get a bit of downhill going through Eastbourne and making my way back to the coast and eventually on to Bexhill on Sea. I couldn't it have rained whilst I was having my lunch stop. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I got back on the bike, it started raining. Nearly in Hastings then. Okay, come on then, we fanned it around long enough on the flat. It's about time we did another climb, even though I've done a climb at Hastings to get here. This is Peter James Lane. This is another one of the Southeast official climbs. And it starts going downhill. And it's absolutely smoking. Well, that one was the easiest one of the week. Let's have a bit of a kick at the end. Oh, what a spectacular view at the top, all the way out to sea. I don't even know what that is in the distance. Probably Dover. <laughs> It's really windy up here. It's quite annoying that that microphone's still not working, so I apologise for the sound. I'll see if I can get it sorted at some point. But I'm now heading it through the high wheeled area of outstanding natural beauty, all the way to my next official climb, which is the last one today, uh, titled The Wall. I think it's number 19. It's one of the official 100. It's not really one I'll be facing 150 kilometers into a ride, but there we go. I'm nuts and I've got loads of videos to prove it. We will see you when I get there, unless there's anything exciting over the high wheeled, which I have never heard of. So how outstanding the natural area can it be? We're about to find out. Mama, I'm fine, don't worry. Go back out to see, say home, sweet home, where the ships must go to get. absolutely nothing between Hastings and Heathfield other than battle which was a site of the uh, the Battle of Hastings in 1066 um, but yeah there was just a sign I didn't see anything else I'm sure my dad will tell me I've missed something completely obvious as he used to live here in Heathfield for a bit um, I've changed plans what I didn't account for was turning round um, and heading back in the opposite direction and the headwind and I'm basically doing 15k an hour average. I was planning on a 20k an hour average and the four hours, sorry, the three hours have become four hours and I'm not going to get to camp till 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go straight up to the campsite from Heathfield, miss out the big loop I was doing to do the wall and uh, Ashdown Forest and the wall are going to be done first thing tomorrow and I might have to jig a few things around because about 125, 130k looks to be my limit for the length of time it's taken me in a day. Still, 
hard pill to swallow that I might not actually do it all. But uh, we'll try and work some magic and see what I can cram in. Yeah, might be able to sort it out. I've still got that extra day on the Sunday, which I haven't really got anything planned for yet. Lost in your eyes, I go back inside my head, falling too fast. I can't wait another day. Can you hear me calling? I am losing all my breath. Fading in and if I hadn't done nothing else today, I've just gone bombing down the hill past it. I realised that was my campsite. And I had to go back up, back up the hill <laughs> to the campsite. <laughs> oh well. Can we make it till tomorrow? Are we out of time? Are we out of time? On top of that, it closed at 7 pm, so I'd never got in at 10 pm anyway. Let's see if we can get in. Luckily, she's still here, so she's given me the code to the gate. I've got in. Just gotta set a camera. <laughs> I'd never have done it if that was 10 o'clock, would I? Oh, good call. All right, let's see what we got. Apparently, I've got a shaved pitch somewhere. Let's see what we can find. See if we can find somewhere where I can lock the bike up. This one's gonna do me. It's not far from the shower blocks. I've got the fence built the bike too. And a post. <sighs> Made it. Oh well, we are officially only two climbs behind and we're in the area, so today's really a bit of a travelling day. Just to get here. Ashdown Forest, the wall, I think Toys Hill. So the big boys are coming now, thick and fast. Um, I've got an Airbnb tomorrow night. In West Morley, so uh, be able to recharge all my battery packs because I have the last of the power I have tonight to charge everything so that I can make a video tomorrow. Um, if it doesn't charge everything, tomorrow's video will be very short. <laughs> ah, but anyway, we will see you in the next video. I'm going to get myself sorted. Thank you for watching. What a day! Epic start. Scrambled finish, smile on my face at the end. It's been a great day riding my bike all day. Just that bloody headwind. And I think I've done over 2,000 meters of climbing. I'm a nutter. See you in the next video. Can we make it till tomorrow?